Oh well, it's the end of the day, so I'm heading down to my pickup there. Do some fueling and greasing, call her a day. But uh, you see, I've said, I've talked about all the stuff I like about this 855 Tiger Cat. I haven't really got into the stuff I don't like about it. So a good place to start is this machine here. It's got 5,300 hours on it. As you see, I got this little thing going off right there. That is because I just blew my motor uh, 100 hours ago. We had to ship a new motor out on a Skyline and do a motor swap on this thing out in the brush. 5,000 hours, that's definitely a little bit of a beef I have. I mean, my other machine, my 325, it's got 16,000 hours and all it's had was the injector. So, and not only that, but the motor's $25,000 with a 5,000 R core. So for an FPT, the Tiger Cat engine, pretty freaking spendy. All right, so on top of that, which that's a pretty big thing there, whatever you know i'm not the boss whatever i just run the dang thing but if you were looking to buy one whatever i'd consider whatever maybe checking into the motors do a little bit of research about them and stuff like that maybe get an older one with a cummins in it or something but uh another beef i have there's no swing brake you know i mean no yeah there's a swing lock but there's no swing brake so she just kind of swings around of course this is all comparative to the cat i've ran so there's that. So, you know, I'm used to having a brake that kind of stops you when you're, you know, done swinging. This one, it'll just keep swinging around. I don't like that. Another thing I don't like, hold on one second, gotta put my boom down. I don't like the ER mode. Not a big fan at all, this ER mode here. I shut that off every time because I like to be in control. Uh, another thing I do not like, I do not like those Rotobet grapples at all. I'll get out and actually show you guys kind of what I don't like about those. And, uh, oh, before we leave the cab, another thing, I do not like rodents. Do not like freaking rodents. I don't know if you guys did a mousy door in this thing or what. My Cat 325, I never really had many problems with rodents. Like, maybe one time I've seen a rat turd in there, but it was already vacated. But uh, this thing, I, I'm constantly battling them. And you, as you see, I hang my lunch bag up just because I went to go grab my lunch bag the other day and a freaking mouse hopped off it. So I had to open the side door, kick the dang thing out, put a bait bar in here and show up today, which is Monday morning, so over the weekend. Show up today and uh, the dang thing ate my bait bar and then had my paper towels for a snack. So, uh... Yeah, they're a tiger cat. You guys need to figure that out. We don't like rodents in our machines. Figure out how to close that up. All right, back to the gravel. All right, rotobet grapples. For one, when you do blow a, fit, a hose, they are freaking tough as heck to get a dang wrench in there. You gotta take all kinds of stuff apart. And as you can see, they're wet. Why are they wet? Oh, it's leaking again. Fuck, fucking awesome. Yeah, the thing is, these dang fittings, this this is the guard. This is the guard situation we have. Old Chavez and Frito, Frito Mendejo taking off. So you get out, you tighten the freaking fitting, and then you're up snapping, gra or snapping brush or whatever, so have it. And your hose is bend, and then you end up breaking this fitting. That's a pain in the butt. Then about two three times a day you got to get out and tighten this big one here and uh i already got out tightened it uh two times today and as you can see it's freaking leaking again so i got to do that while i'm greasing so i've told you guys all the goods about it when it comes to this ground and stuff like that it's freaking awesome to be able to level up that's super sweet but the motor blowing at 5,000 hours not a good thing the no swing brake, the seat itself, whatever, instead of like my cat, whatever, it was on a full bag system, whatever, where it'd go up and down. This one just seems to go forward, so I'm not a huge fan of the seat. I hate to be just a negative Nancy here, but I figure, I, you know, if I'm going to do reviews on stuff like that, not necessarily but reviews, if I'm going to talk about good about equipment, I got to tell you guys some bads about them too, or my opinion of bads. And, uh, these hoses here, pretty vulnerable spot. I know there isn't really 
anywhere else to go with them, whatever, maybe do some heavier guarding on that, whatever, and possibly done something there. Because I've already I've blown a hose inside there and I had to tear it all apart and climb in the bottom and all that. I, I hate being a crybaby. I kind of feel like I'm whining about some stuff, but there is some stuff that I feel like I should address seeing I do talk about how good the machine is. It's a 855D and this glass, the glass came pretty messed up from the last person who ran it before we ended up buying it, but it seems like this, gra this glass is just, which is Lexan, it's just super soft. I mean, say if you scratch it with, you know, quick little leaf, leafy branches, you put these little freaking scratches in it, you know? It just it feels like it's soft glass. Feels like it's soft glass, which it which isn't good. Um. Uh, what else can I gripe about? Oh yeah, taking all that DEF stuff and all that when we did the motor swap out in the brush, man, that was a pain in the butt. I can't. Of course, any motor swap you do down in a draw, whatever, is going to be a pain in the butt. Like I said, we had to ship it out underneath an Acme car, ship the new motor out. And then place it out there we luckily we got another shovel down to it to actually do the fine dropping it in i didn't get any video of that just because you know when my boss is paying me he's paying me to work not to do videos so you know after work i could do videos all i want because i can't really be i can't show be negative you know per se i can't i can't put a negative image on his company or anything like that which I, I definitely don't try to do my boss is an awesome guy last thing I'd want to do is hurt his image at all but me talking about Tiger Cat I doubt will do anything to jeopardize anything he has to worry about and uh, not only that but I'm pretty sure he's pretty upset with the motor situation too seeing that he's the one that had to flip the bill flip the bill so one number one the freaking rodents that's the biggest problem for me that is a freaking issue right there when i'm picking up my my nose bag behind my seat i don't want rats jumping off it so tiger cat you need to address that uh i'd advise in the swing break there's a lot of guys who don't run swing breaks so that's that's just my own personal preference whatever instead of the swing lock which yeah whatever swing brakes are nice they're pretty nice and uh rotobet grapples if I ever meet Mr. Rotobeck in person, I, I personally might just kick him square in the nuts, right in the ball bag for all the times I've had to get out and tighten that dang fitting. So I think we might end up switching over to jewels on it. Um, I'm at 100 hours on my new motor, so I'm going to end up doing a mo or an oil change first thing in the morning, make sure everything's good, run a magnet through it. Um, lights are freaking awesome. Let's, uh, let's talk some goods. It's awesome being able to go on stupid ground and you know, when you're on steep ground, say in my old 325, not only did I have to swing my machine up the hill, whatever, which takes a lot of swing power, I had to swing the log too, so therefore I have to jib way in and then swing the log uphill to where this thing is actually pretty good about that because it sits level, so you're just swinging the actual turn uphill. You're not swinging the machine and the turn, which is pretty awesome. It's definitely got some goods. I mean, these single bar, the freaking... You know, no rollers, just the rails. That's freaking awesome. So it's got its ups and downs. I just figured I'd go through some of the downs, seeing I have seemed to have only explained pretty much the ups. So those are some downs. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot some fuel and grease in there and get the heck out of here. All right, you guys, stay beautiful.